Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Ahlan wa sahlan. We are going to um, just wait a few minutes while people get settled in. Um, in the meantime, I did in the chat, you will see a link to the worksheet for today. We're going to be doing numbers today. So if you don't have that, if you don't have it and don't have time to print it out, don't worry. It can, uh, the instructions are very clear, so you can always do it later. Uh, great. So we'll just wait a little bit. I hope you guys have been enjoying this um, conference. It's been amazing. I wasn't able to sleep last night with all the thoughts running through my head from all the panels. It was great. Hello, I see someone from Pittsburgh. Hi guys. Oh, I saw your picture posted earlier. Thank you for that. I loved it. it warmed my, my heart just exploded seeing that. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get started because the beginning is kind of intro and people can just jump in when they can. So I'm um, just going to start with a hello, good morning song. Ahlan ashabi. Ahlan ashabi. Ahlan ashabi. I'm glad you came today. Welcome everyone to Arabish Way Storytime. It's me, Layla. My name is Layla. Um, and I am so excited to be here with you guys today. For this session, as I mentioned, we're doing a clock, uh, Arabic clock to learn our numbers. Um, so the, sh the worksheet is in the um, chat, so you can print this out. You will need a paper plate or a circle to go with that. Um, I do like to use cardstock for the arrows on the clock. It makes them a little more sturdy, but you can also just use uh, the ones on the printed sheet as well. And then to make the arrows turn, you would just need a brad, um, which is one of these fasteners that opens up. And if you wanted to start coloring, especially while I'm talking in the beginning, <laughs> kids, you guys are welcome to start coloring in those numbers. While you're doing that, I'll just do a really quick intro for myself. Um, like I said, my name is Layla. Um, I am a Arab American with Palestinian roots. Uh, but I was born and raised in English speaking countries and this was post-colonialism and, and pre-multiculturalism, giving away my age there a little bit. Um, so the Arabic language was not um, passed down to me fully. Um, so you will hear a mix of my family's Palestini dialect. Um, I married a Lebanese um, fabulous human being. And so you will hear Lebanese dialect in there. Um, and I took a year in college and, and, and some of the resources and songs that I found are in more of a fusha, and so it's a bit of a mix. Um, for native speakers, I hope you don't find that too uh, frustrating. Um, what I do hope for everyone is that you see ways that we can make uh, Arabic learning um, and books fun. So that's what my goal is for you today. All right, as you can see, al yom today, al yom we're gonna do arkam, our numbers. And I'm sure you guys know your numbers. Um, in English, in one of these languages. So um, just practice along with me. If these are new, you can just repeat after me. If you know them, then shout them out with me, okay? All right, let's just go through really quickly. We have wahad, one, wahad, good. Tanain, and you'll see it's written in the formal, but I'm saying it informally. So ithnain, formally, tanain. Talata, formally, talate, informally. Arba, that's right. Arba, four. Arba. Khamse, five. Khamse, good. Sitte, six. Sitte. Saba, seven. Saba. Eight. Tamenye. Tamenye, and for those of you learning Arabic, I remember T for tent. So Tamenye is the one that looks more like a tent. I get confused with those all the time. Tamenye. Tisa, it's my favorite because it looks just like the number nine in English. Tisa, and then we have Ashara. And I also want to point out that in Arabic, the numbers, you read them the same way you do in English. So there's the one and then the zero, right? So uh, Ashara. Okay, great. Let's sing a little song. Um, I love this one. It's kind of like a one, two, buckle my shoe. Um, and I got it from a video that my mom picked up for me at um, 
Koshi Bookstore in Haifa. I can't get it in the States, but if you're ever in Haifa, do stop by that bookstore. It's absolutely amazing. And they have this great kids video that I love. Um, and so this is how the song goes. First, I'm gonna kind of talk you through it and then we'll sing it all together. And it has some hand signs too. So I'll try and throw those in there while I'm showing this to you as well. So it goes like this. Wahadzinin yaleliyain. Tlete arba tarat al kubba. The hat flew away. The first one is kind of like, oh, the night. And then tlete arba tarat al kubba, the hat flew away. Khamse sitte, sidiyu sitte. My grandfather, my grandmother. Sabatamani, aklat rumani. So the baby's eating some pomegranate. Many I ate some pomegranate. Tisa shara, sahnan mjadara, a big bowl of mjadara. Tisa shara, zarat shajara, the tree grew. So I really like this one. I'll sing it for you all the way through with the hand motions this time. Wa hadinin yale liyain, tlate arba, tarat al kubba, khamse sit. Sidiyu sitte, sabatamani, aklat rumani, tissa shara, sahna namjadara, tissa shara, sarat shajara. So that's a fun one. Link, uh, I do have a link to it on my website, I think, which you can check out. Um, okay, great. So you've heard it in a song. Let's hear um, our numbers in a book. I'm going to read. Uh, this one, it, it is an English one. Um, it's a flat book. So um, making, finding books that are engaging for little ones to sort of get their hands on. Um, the idea for reading early is just to show them that books are enjoyable. So that's um, why I like this one. Okay, and this one is written by Nicola Killen. Marhaba Bobo. Hi, Bobo, what are you doing today? Bilab, hide and seek, mastikai. I'm playing hide and seek with my friends, he said. Wayne home, where are they? Wayne home. Let's see if we can find when there's a flap here. Ba'usi, hey, Muzzy. This monkey's name is Muzzy. Hala, Bobo, la'a, sadiq, wahad. He found one friend, you can see. Wahad right there. Yalla, nshuf min bila abo bo bad. Fi hada bil bait alab. Is there something inside that house? Nam. Hey, Riff. Hala, bo bo laa, sodi cane. So the cane, two friends. So itnain, two, and sometimes you just add i into the end of a uh, ain to the end of a word, and it will make it double. So so the cane, two friends. Oh, and let's count. We have our numbers here. Wahad, tinain, so the cane. Oh, Bobo beshuf is rain tahta taule. Bobo sees something under the table. Bobo Bishuf is rain, or he sees feet. Tahta taule. Is rain lemin. Whose feet are these? Ah, hala. Oh, Toban. Hey, snap. Here's snap. Hala. La a bobo. Talete ostika. Now he's found three friends. Wahad. Tinein. Talete. Oh. Shafin, she wara a sitar. Do you see something behind the curtain? Shafin, she wara a sitar. Mean wara a sitar. Who is back there? Ba'usi, and a bishufik lily. Hala, bobo, la a arba, a stika. Wahad, oops, where? Wahad, tinen, telete, arba. Munkin, Bobo la'a al kol. Maybe he found everyone. Kem sadiq fi. How many friends are there? Kem sadiq fi. 
واحد let's count them واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة بس استنى wait a second وين راكم بوبو where's بوبو's number oh bravo لالي هلا في خمس أصدقاء مبسوطين سوا now there's four five friends happy together واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة خمسة Great, great. Okay, now I'm going to take a little chance and sing this song, um, which my kids love. It's, um, oh, I'm blanking who did it. Kazadu, I think. It's, I think it's a Lebanese company. Um, but this one's a little bit like five monkeys jumping on the bed, um, but it's uh, five ducks who swim away from their mother. Okay, and it goes like this. All right. خمس بدت سفر هالوين ام ماجوش ام يسبحو بي هالماي ام ونام بتقول كواك 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 دات بطا منون صارو اربع so only four ducks came back واحد اثنين واحد اثنين ثلاثة اربع اربع بدت سفر هالوين Am yesbahu bi hal maye. Immunam bitul quack, 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 quack. Dat bata minun sarutle de. Only three came back. There's no four. Wahad jinin, tlete. Tlet butit safaru Halloween. Am yesbahu bi hal maye. Immunam bitul quack, 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 quack. Ooh, did I mess up that part? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, oh, that but a minnoon bit you had name. Sorry, it changes. Um, I had to name Safaru Halloween. I'm yes, the hobby hell my immun and bit all quack 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 quack. That but that minun sarwa de. Only one is here. But the wahde safaru Halloween. Am tis bahbi hal maye. Imun ambit ul kwa 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 kwa. Dat acher but the bi hal maye. Okay, let's call them back, shall we? We'll call them by number. Ready? Wahad. Yay, come back. Tinin. Talete. Hey, welcome back. Arba. Oh, Yay, they came back. Okay. All right. Thank you for letting me experiment on you with that song. I do love it, and it's really fun. Um, okay. I wanted to show you how the numbers are so similar to the days of the week. So if you've learned your numbers, then you will, now you'll know most of the days of the week. I have them here. And so I hope you've been hearing. This starts with Saturday. Sorry, I don't know if you can see this. This is, so we're gonna start here with the first day, Sunday. And it sounds like Wahad, right? So Yom Al-Ahad is the first day and um, Wahad is the first number. We move on to Monday. What was two? Do you remember? To name. So al yom, and I'm saying them formally. So sorry. Al yom al ethnain. Okay. And then thalate or thalatha. Al yom al thalatha. See how it sounds so similar? Al yom al arba. Oh, sorry. Arba is the number. Al yom al arbia. And that is. Wednesday. Thursday is the fifth day of the week if you start on Sunday. Khamse al yom al khamis. And then we have Friday, a special day for gathering, so it doesn't have a number day. Al yom al jumwa for gathering. We gather together on Friday. And then um, Saturday is the seventh day, so we skip to seven, sabah, and it's al yom al sept, so it's related. Um, great. So, oh, I'm going to sing you another song. And I love the song because it really helps me um, remember how to say the days of the week. And this one is also on YouTube. 
And I think it's also a Siraj video. Okay, it goes like this. Sabah, Sabah, he a Sabah. There are seven days of the week. Ayam al Usbuay Sabah. Sabah, Sabah, he a Sabah. Ayam al Usbuay Sabah. Accept, it starts on Saturday. Accept al Ahadu will it name. Zat al Ahadu will it name. Al Thulatha, al Arbia. Al Khamis U Al Jumua. It's pretty catchy. I'll do it one more time. Sabah, Sabah, Hiya Sabah. Ayam al Uspo Ay Sabah. Sabah, Sabah, Hiya Sabah. Ayam al Uspo Ay Sabah. Asat al Ahadu will it name. Sat al Ahadu will it name. Al Thalatha Al Arbia. Al Hamisu Al Jamoa. All right, so I hope that's stuck in your head. I want you to listen for those words. We're going to read a book that has those words in it. And I think you know this one The Hungry Caterpillar. Um, I do shift the days of the week. Um, if you are very familiar with this in English, you might be like, what is she saying? She's mixing up the days. But I do that on purpose because I think it's more fun for the kids and it's more of a learning experience if they hear that on Sunday, the caterpillar eats tufaha wahde. So you can really hear the relationship and it just makes it more fun to read. So I will shift and it doesn't affect the story at all. So I will start the story um, on Saturday instead of Sunday might hear that. Okay. Ready? Al Yarakat Ajuane, the hungry caterpillar. Bilal wa taht al amar can be beida zahira ala warat shajara. In the light of the moon there was an egg that lay on a leaf. The subh yom sabat, so on Saturday morning طلعت الشمس الدافية وبط من البيضة طلعت يرقات زريرة كانت كتير كتير جعانة. So out of the egg popped a caterpillar and she was so hungry. I also changed her to a female. So. Uh, راحت تفتش على الأكل. She went to look for some food. Okay, so here's where you're going to hear the days of the week and the numbers. Yom al Ahad Aklat to Faha Wahde. On Monday, she ate through one apple. No, on Sunday, she ate through one apple. Yom al Ahad. Yom al Ithnain Aklat Ijastain. So you got to hear the Ain sound at the end. You can count them. Wahad Tinin. Yom al Thalatha Aklat Thalath Chauchat. On Tuesday, she ate through three plums, or on the third day, she ate through three plums. Yom, oh, Yom al Arba, Aklat Arba Fraulet. Oh, and I keep forgetting to say, La Kinha Dalit Ja'ane. And of course, after that, of course, she was still hungry. La Kinha Dalit Ja'ane. Yom al Khamis, Atlet Khams Portukalat. On Thursday or on the fifth day, she ate through five apples. La Kinha Dalichaane, but she was still hungry. Oh, and then she goes crazy. Yom al Juma, Atlet Shatfit Kak Chocolat, Booza Mechalal, Shatfit Jibne, Noknik, Musasa. Fatire, Suju, Kake, Zrire, was shot with Potir. Oh, Hadika Lele, Potonha, Wajaha. After eating all that, her tummy hurt, Potonha, Wajaha. Bad had a yom, the um, had, sorry, bad had the yom, can yom a sabbat. Al-Yaraka aklat warak khudra utaybe min shajara. Wasarat ahsan. After eating through a nice green leaf, she felt much better. Wasarat ahsan. 
my goodness. Halla batalat kana ja'ana. She wasn't now she wasn't hungry. Wa makana tazrire and she wasn't small. Sarat yaraka kabire samine. She was big and fat. Hamlet bait sahir haulaha. How that bait is mu sharnaka. So she built a cocoon, we call it sharnaka in Arabic. Be'iyat b'sharnaka le'osbo'ayin. So I don't remember. Ayam al-osbo'ay. So osbo'ayin, two weeks. She's been inside for two weeks. Ba'den, after the two weeks, ba'den, amalit fatha b'l-sharnaka. She made a little hole in the cocoon. Dafshat halha la'barra, pushed her way out. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, this is the right page. Wa. And then, what did she turn into? Sarat Farasha Halwe. She turned into a beautiful butterfly. So I hope you got to hear those words in action and pick up on some of that. Okay, um, so I hope you're making your way through your clock activity. Um, so it's just started by coloring it all in and then you're gonna wanna cut all those pieces out. Um, quick tip for parents when um, or caregivers when you're ready to make that hole I like to take like a trivet that's a little bit raised and then put the and then use even just like a skewer works um, it just helps so that you don't sort of smush when you try to do it without it it sort of smushes the whole plate um, and then you just poke a hole through your arrows and your centerpiece and then you can put your brad in the middle and then your arrows can spin and maybe someday in the future we'll do like how to tell time in Arabic um, but for now we'll just do the numbers and I'll just go through them because we didn't get all the way up to 12 before so on a clock we go up from to 12 and we'll start with wahad, tinein, talate, arba, khamse, sitte, saba, the tent to menye, to sa, and then we see ashara, ehdash, itnash. It's kind of the short way of saying uh, 11 and 12. Okay, so I hope those are coming along nicely. Um, I wanted to tell you if you post them somewhere, please use the hashtag Palestine Rights. Um, and I will look for um, pictures posted under hashtag Palestine rights. Um, I will also look if you post uh, hashtag Arabish way art and I have a prize for some random person who posts um, a picture it doesn't need to be a child's face, um, just their work. Uh, and I will send that to you. Um, yeah, so that would be exciting. Uh, oh, she also said, uh, Susan wanted me to say post on the graffiti wall if you get a chance to. That's been a fun place for people to post things and interact. Okay, so while you are continuing work on your um, clock, um, I would like to talk about the books that I, or the book I published and the one that's on its way. Um, so this is my book, it's Hasisan, and I just wanted to explain how this book came to be. So I personally love reading. I mean, I have books all over the house um, and I have to say that my favorite moment of, with my kids of motherhood was um, that moment where, I mean, I think they were 18 months or even maybe two, um, where they read a page in a book successfully for the first time. And I'm not bragging because they weren't actually reading. They had just simply memorized uh, a page in a book that we had read a million times. Um, but they didn't know that. They thought they were reading and that that sense of pride and confidence was so beautiful to see. Um, and it's been fun watching them turn into um, amazing readers in English, um, we haven't quite made it uh, in Arabic. Um, and what I felt like was missing was we had a ton of one word, you know, um, vocabulary books that they were getting because they knew what the words were and they were learning um, their letters. Uh, but then the next set of books, uh, however lovely, were just very complicated and used words that they weren't familiar with. And so I thought, what better way to bridge this gap than with a nursery rhyme book? And so I'd like to share that with you today because um, we had sung this song a million times and so they were able to read along with me as we sang it um, or even read it by themselves. And so it goes like this. Hasisan, Shu Halloween, 
Ambi duru haula imho mabsutin. Oh, mabsutin, sorry. Sherbu mai. Alu hai. Rafau rasum shakaru rabhum. Mabsutin. Um, and I also want to point out what else I did in the story is, um, so sometimes there's letters that, you know, are written, but we don't say them. And I felt like it would sort of throw them off. Um, and so I left them in, but I sort of muted the color um, so that they knew they could sort of get to that point and skip over it. Um, I also left out a lot of the vowel sounds when they were implied, um, again, to just be less distracting for um, young readers. So uh, that's this book. Um, Okay, let's see if I, I feel like I'm forgetting another. Oh, yeah, I had, I wanted to do this. I'm going to just explain it since I don't really have space to get up and it's not really fun without people. So um, there's this other song uh, that my sister-in-law taught me and it's Dumia um, Warda. And it's like a ring around the rosy. So I want you to imagine that we're all holding hands in a circle. And um, it's, a, it's just great for counting to 100. So it goes like this. So we're holding hands and we're gonna come in together, kind of like post COVID, we'll do this. Um, coming together and we say, and we sort of like close the circle. And then we pull our arms out and we say, and we come in, and we pull out, and then we're gonna, we would put our hands behind our back and turn. So everyone's facing each other's back and we would walk in a circle as we sing, uh, a little baba min ashi odimnil ashra lil me, and then we would step and jump, and so we would go ashra ashreen, and then we would jump yo yo telatin arbain. So we were counting by ten, so ten twenty, um, yo yo telatin arbain, yo yo hamsin sitin, yo yo sabain tamanin, yo yo tisain, and then we all fall down, kind of like London Bridge. Uh, me yay. and that's just a way um I really like that because my kids sort of figured out from 20 to 30 um and they kids do this in English too and then you sort of need to know well what's the next you know Arbain um Hamsin and so that's a fun song to do early so then it builds up that vocabulary okay so sorry I didn't get to fully demonstrate with people but I hope you get a sense and there is a video on my website where you can see it in action um okay we're running low on time I will just um, show you my book in progress that's coming that I wanted to share. Um, same concept um, as the Hassisan, and I don't know if you guys know this song, it's Jiddi um, and Dohmar, so my grandfather has a donkey, and it goes like this. Killon and on Sayarat, everybody has a car. With Jiddi and Dohmar, but my grandfather has a donkey. Bira kibna khalfu, he puts us behind him. Wa biyakhidna mishwar, he takes us on a ride. Mishwar, it's like a trip. Will polisi safirlo, the policeman blows his whistle. Bi idui ashirlo, with his hand, he waves him on. Doesn't make anybody happy. Sayaratit zamerlo, everybody honks. <laughs> Excuse me. Ba, ba, ba. So this one, look for this one coming out. Oh, look for this one coming out next year. Okay. Um, that is all I have. And that was right on time. We are right on time to end. Um, I hope you guys like this. Please post on the graffiti wall any work that you've done. Please email me if you have, if you're curious about resources. Um, it's why I made the website. I just got tired of emailing people all the things that I use. So the website is there. Um, I have worksheets, writing sheets, not my own, like things that I found that um, I, I really enjoyed using for my kids. Uh, like this I got from Arabic Seeds. Um, Maktabati is a great resource for books. Um, and so I have links to kind of all that stuff if you're hoping to add more Arabic into your home, uh, which I hope you do because it's such a beautiful language. Um, and I think if you guys have any questions, you can pop them in the chat. Like I said, feel free to email me.
And I'm just thank so thankful that you guys were here with me today. I had a great time. I hope you did. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. It's been amazing. And um, if any of people from Palestine Rights are listening, I just can't thank you enough for putting this conference together. It's been phenomenal. So with that, I think we're out. Afwan, I saw shukran. Afwan, I'm so happy to be here.